So the first one, let C0 denote the collection of all sequences, real or complex, it does not matter, converging to 0. Show that C0 is a closed subspace of L infinity solution. So, C0 is set of all sequences, real sequences if you are working with the real field, complex sequences if you are working with the complex field. Okay. Now, it is certainly a subspace because if you have two sequences converging to 0, their sum also converges to 0. If you have a sequence converging to 0 and you multiply every term by alpha, that will also still converge to 0. And every sequence which is convergent is automatically bounded, so it is part of L infinity. So, it is clear, so it is obvious that C0 is a subspace of L infinity. So, we only have to show that it is closed. Okay. So, to show it is closed. So, let x n be a sequence in C0 such that x n converges to x in L infinity. So, what must you show? To show x belongs to C0 as well. Okay. So, let epsilon be greater than 0. So, there exists a capital N such that for all N greater or equal to capital N, we have more norm x n minus x infinity is less than say epsilon by 2. So, that means what does this imply? For every i, you have mod x n i minus x i is less than epsilon by 2. Also, x n belongs to C0. Therefore, there exists a k such that for all i bigger than or equal to k, we have mod x n i is less than epsilon by 2. It is a sequence which goes to 0. Therefore, after some stage, it can be made as small as you like. Therefore, mod for all i bigger than or equal to k, you have mod x i is less than or equal to mod x n i minus x i plus mod x n i and that is less than or equal to uh, epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 which is equal to epsilon. Therefore, for all i bigger than k mod x i is less than epsilon. This means that x is uh, belongs to C0. Okay, so, this completes the proof, this problem. 2. Show that C1 with the soup norm is not complete. Okay. So, solution this is just very easy. So, you have soup norm is the norm. Uh, so, we have Weierstrass theorem uh, 
So C101, let's say. Okay, make a compact interval. So Weierstrass theorem says if f belongs to C01, there exists a sequence Pn of polynomials such that Pn converges to f uniformly. That means norm Pn minus f infinity, which is a sub norm, goes to 0. Okay. So, therefore, this sequence Pn polynomials are contained in C1, 0, 1 because they are all polynomials, they are infinitely differentiable and Pn converges to f in uh, Pn is Cauchy. So, Pn converges to f implies uh, Pn is Cauchy, but f not necessarily in f not necessarily in c01 so choose f not in c101 so it is a continuous function but it's not differentiable then also you have a polynomial so this sequence will be a cauchy sequence which converges outside and therefore the space is not complete so now we want to make c1 uh, so let let v equal to c1, 0, 1 and define norm f, uh, let us say 1 for f in c1 equal to max of norm f infinity norm f dash infinity then norm 1 defines a norm on c 1 0 1 and this space ok norm f 1 is greater than or equal to 0 and norm f 1 equal to 0 means norm f infinity is 0 and therefore in particular and therefore this implies that norm f infinity equal to 0 and this implies that f equal to 0 ok and conversely if f is 0 implies norm f 1 is 0 ok and norm f uh, norm of alpha f equals mod alpha norm f obvious because it is already ok. So, we and what about triangle inequality? So, if you have norm of f plus g, so norm of f plus g infinity is less than or equal to norm f infinity plus norm g infinity norm of f plus g dash infinity is less than or equal to norm f dash infinity plus norm g dash infinity and therefore this is less than or equal to norm f1 plus norm g1 And similarly, this also less than or equal to norm f1 plus norm g1 and therefore, you have the maximum is also true. This means that norm f plus g1 less than or equal to norm f1 plus norm g1. Now, what about the completeness? So, this defines a norm. So, if fn Cauchy in C01, C101, this implies that Fn is Cauchy in C01 and Fn dash is Cauchy 
in C01. So let us take Fn converges to F in C01. and Fn dash converges to G in C01. Then what does this mean? So we now know convergence in norm infinity is the same as uniform convergence. So you have Fn converges uniformly to F and Fn dash also converges uniformly to G. Then from real analysis we know that, that F is differentiable and f dash equal to g and therefore this implies that f n converges to uh, f in c101 and therefore c101 is complete. So we are using the theorem in analysis which says that if the derivative converges uniformly and in fact you need much less for the function. If the function converges at one point and the derivative converges uniformly and then we say that uh, the function itself uh, converges uniformly to a differentiable function whose derivative is the limit. Okay. So this is uh, the theorem. Okay. Now for consider C01 define norm f1 equals integral 0 to 1 mod f t dt. Show that the space is not complete. Okay, so now that it is a norm, it is non-negative and it is with alpha, mod alpha will come out, triangle inequality is trivial and if you have the 0 function, the integral is 0, norm f 1 equal to 0, this implies that integral mod f t dt 0 to 1 equal to 0. Now this implies that f equal to 0. Why? Because if f were not 0, then it will not be, if f of some t naught is mod f t naught were strictly positive, there exists a j contained in 0, 1 interval t naught belongs to j and mod f t is greater than uh, or equal to one half of mod f t naught say for all t in j and this will imply that integral 0 to 1 mod f t dt which is beginning equal to integral over j mod f t dt which is greater to one half mod f t naught times the length of j and that is strictly positive and that is a contradiction. Okay. So, we have that if mod f t equal to identically 0, then f is in fact identically 0. So, now we have to show that it is not complete. So, define f n in the following fashion. I am not going to give you the analytic version, I am just going to draw a picture and you can write the analytic version yourself. So, this is 0, this is 1 half this is 1 and this is 1 half minus 1 by n and then the function is 0 up to this portion, it is 1 up to this portion and it is linear in between. Okay, so this is the function fn, the graph of the function. So it is 0 from 0 to 1 half minus 1 by n and then it is linear goes and this is the value 1 in this case. Okay, so now we want to show that the function fn is Cauchy, the sequence is Cauchy. 
So if you took Fm for instance, So that would be the function which is 1 say up to and then it goes up to this and then it becomes 1 again. Okay, So so this point is 1 half minus 1 by m. Okay, So let us assume that m is bigger than n. So then you have that fm is less than or equal to fn, okay? And therefore, norm of fm minus fn in 1 is equal to nothing but the integral 0 to 1 fn minus fm. And that is nothing but the area of this shaded region here. And that is area of the triangle is half base into height, which is 1 half of uh, height is 1 and therefore into 1 into 1 by m minus 1 by uh, 1 by n minus 1 by m. And therefore this implies that fn is Cauchy. So now let us see what it converges to, if it converges at all. Okay, so let fn converge to f in C01 if possible. That means integral 0 to 1 mod fn minus f goes to 0. And that implies integral 0 to half mod fn minus f goes to 0 and integral half to 1 mod fn minus f also goes to 0. But what is the function on half 1 fn is identically equal to 1 that is what we took okay on half 1 it is identically equal to 1 and therefore you have that so this implies that in integral half to 1 1 minus mod f equal to 0 and this means that f is identically equal to 1 as we just saw little earlier okay we saw this uh, earlier okay fine so on 0 half we have integral 0 to half minus 1 by n mod fn minus f plus integral half minus 1 by n to half mod fn minus f that goes to 0. But fn is equal to 0 in, the, in this interval and therefore that is integral 0 to uh, half minus 1 by n mod f plus integral half minus 1 by n to half mod f n minus f and that goes to 0. Now f n are all bounded, they are all less than or equal to 1. So mod f, if it converges, uh, anyway mod f is also less than some constant, it is a continuous function on a compact set, therefore it has to be less than or equal to constant and therefore integral half minus 1 by n to half mod f n minus f is less than or equal to 1 plus c times uh, length of this interval which is equal to 1 by n and that goes to 0. So, this term also goes to 0. Now, this converges to by the monotone convergence theorem or dominated whatever theorem you want to show, this is converging to 0 to half mod f.
okay. So, this implies that integral 0 to half mod f equal to 0 which means f is identically 0 on 0 half. And we know that f is identically equal to 1 on half 1 and that is a contradiction because you have a continuous function and that is not possible. Therefore, f n is Cauchy but it will not converge to anything. Okay, 5. Let c 1 0 1 be given the norm 1 which we already saw ok. This is so norm 1 f norm f 1 equals max of norm f infinity norm f dash infinity ok. T from C 1 0 1 to C 0 1 define T f equals f dash. We already saw this before and if it both had norm infinity we saw that it was not a continuous linear transformation. Now we say show that T is continuous and in fact norm t is equal to 1. So, mod of solution t f of t this is equal to mod of f dash t that is like less than equal to norm f dash infinity and that is less than equal to norm f Okay. Therefore, norm T f infinity is less than or equal to norm f 1 and that implies that norm T is less than or equal to 1 and T is continuous. Now, other way around we should write it correctly. So, it implies T continuous and norm T is less than or equal to 1. Now, you take f of t equal to t, then norm f infinity equals 1, norm f dash infinity is also 1 because f dash t is identically 1 and therefore, norm f 1 equal to 1, norm f infinity is also equal to 1 and this implies, so that means the both sides are 1 for this function and therefore, the maximum is realized and therefore, you have norm t is in fact equal.